So my name is Mary Ann Thoronson. I came from Brazil 18 years and a half ago. I will make uh, the most famous uh, desserts of my country. This one takes only five minutes uh, to prepare. Brigadeiro, who made with cacao, condensed milk, and butter. Brigadeiro in Brazil, anyone, doesn't matter what your system is, or how much money you have or not, everybody eats, everybody can, you can have in funerals, you have in big weddings for a thousand dollars wedding or a five hundred thousand or a million dollars wedding, doesn't matter. Every time you get together, you eat brigadeiro. It's very delicious and I'm gonna make that one for you today. So first we're gonna preheat our pot. We're gonna put a piece of a butter, no need to be too much, cannot be too hot neither. And we, it's very simple, we just add the condensed milk and we pour into. And now you can add, just mixture a little bit to make sure the butter will melt it. Up, and we can add the cacao. I just filter to make sure they are not in blocks. It's very powery. So when you see, it's like this. And simple, just that. And now you mixture and let you cook. After they are ready, you put in a pot and you put some butter on it to make sure don't glue everything. The secret of the brigadeiro is that you need to stir all the time. You can never stop stirring. So it can take around 15 minutes sometimes to do. And another thing we can do with a brigadeiro as well, you can do as on the top of a cake, like icing. So you can see now it's very equal and you just need to boil and you take out. You come to my house, I'm gonna give you food. I'm gonna, if you bring your mom, your grandma, your dog, I don't care. I will put more food on the table. I am never gonna have enough for three. I'm gonna have enough for an army, right? This is the real Brazilian. If you go in any Brazilian people in my country, I'm from Sao Paulo, you arrive there, you're gonna be fed but you're gonna be fed, not just a oh, little sample. So food is very important. It's gonna start making bubbles. So it has one way in Brazil as well. You can do with brigadeiro. You can use it as a liquid as well. And when get in a, almost enough, you can eat with a tiny spoon. If you look at here, they start almost showing the edge of the pot before you can. And now, look at here. If you look, we put the heat down, and when he starts cooking, you can start to see the end. Extremely hot. You need to be very careful to not touch your skin because you can hurt yourself. And it's almost ready. This you can put on the top of a cake as icing if you so desire. Would be in this consistency. I'm gonna make it harder to make it be like a ball in a like you're gonna see. And that's it. So you come here. They all come like that, right? And you just put it. You can now put in a refrigerator and let it cool off for two hours before you roll it. And you do when you go in birthday party, so after two hours, they're gonna be cold and consistent, right? When you, you see, he's gonna get gooey. So what we're gonna do, we grab these little chocolate bits, 
my again you can buy any place my is from europe because i love the, the europe material for it but we have lots in brazil you can buy any supermarket you grab this you grab a butter grab with your beautiful hands and you roll your brigadeiro ball and you put there you can be the size as you wish your heart desire. Put a little garnish around. Usually this is a family event. One cooks, another roll, another put this, and another take out the little containers. You never do brigadeiro as a solo person. It's a family event. Brigadeiro is accessible for anyone, doesn't matter if you go in favelas in Brazil. If they have a, a can of condensed milk, they're gonna put it together, Brigadeiro. Now let's eat one. So you grab yourself and you enjoy yourself. You bite. Mm. It's magnificent. 